Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I will be testing viral art hacks from 5 Minute Crafts. I'm actually genuinely curious to see if these work because some of them look a little too good to be true, but they actually look really helpful. So hopefully they work. <laughs> Let's jump right into it. So this first hack from 5 Minute Crafts is where if you have marker on your hand, you put highlighter on it and suddenly it'll wipe away. I use markers a bit and I always have to scrub marker off my hands and it's always there and there's always a little bit of whatever stuck in my fingers for days. So I'm really hoping this works because I have a bit of trouble with getting alcohol markers off my fingers. So let's see. Okay, so I got my marker. This is a chameleon marker. So I'm just gonna put it on my hand. Yeah, it kind of looks like I'm bleeding. It's fine. And we're just gonna put it on the back of my finger. Yeah, so we have that done. Um, I'm gonna wait for this to dry. One eternity later. So that did not work at all. Um, and now my finger is red. The sum. So that one gets a fail. Moving on to the next hack. So this next hack I'm gonna try is to draw eyebrows correctly, which I think it's actually a good idea. It looks pretty simple and I don't have to get dirty for this one. Let's see how it goes. So I think this is a good hack. I mean, it could be worse, but I think it is a simple way to do eyebrows, especially if you're starting out. So I would recommend this one. This one is actually pretty good. So the next hack is gonna be one where you use a glove and you draw on the lines of your hands on the glove so then it's easier to draw hands, which I am really bad at drawing hands. So hopefully this one works, unlike the marker one. Let's see. Putting the glove on. Now I have to draw on it a little hard how did they do this so easily it might be better if i just did this on my actual hand I think I could do better if I just free-handed it. So, um, I mean, I guess if you really can't draw hands, I would do this. But I would just simply break it down into basic shapes and just take it slow. So this last hack is a bit of a longer one, but basically you make a little place to put some of your stuff, like erasers, some paper clips, honestly don't know what else you would put in there. <sighs> yeah, let's just see how this goes. So first I fold the paper into three. And then, so then I got this. I think that's what I'm supposed to have. And then they want me to fold to the corners. I think I have too big of a piece of paper for this. Okay, like, 
like that. That that's probably not right. And then they want me to fold it. Not even. Like at all. It's fine. And then they want me to Yeah. Yeah, they want me to do that. Here. Then there. I got a lot of lines. And then they want me to turn it this way. Hold. Okay, so then it looks like this. And then what do they want me to do with this? They want me to like... I get it! Did I close it? Okay, so clearly I'm not great at directions. We're not even gonna try the um, other part of that. If you can get it to work, I'd say it's probably a good hack. If you're like me and you cannot follow directions, I would just say it's, it's a no, plus it's very small. Just buy a miniature little storage bin for your supplies. That is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please subscribe because 68% of you are not subscribed. Hit the subscribe button down below. And if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.